Confirmation then of the starting lineup. It'll be Lucas Silva Santibanez leading us off. Jimenez and Cow following on. The two Mulder twins, Simon Albrecht, Guzman, and Silva Santibanez. And then we come back. Well earned bronze in the 500 meters on the adjoining track. What can he do on the road? 16.832 in qualifying. The younger of the two Chileans driving into the chicane and then blasting out of it, getting good support and encouragement, much faster. 17.9, hitting the front, going into that last bend and then just blasting away down the home straight. They couldn't catch him. But here he is on his own against the clock, Jimenez looking to improve on his 17.625. Oh, he didn't exactly take the greatest chicane there, did he? he had to shorten his stride pattern, lost rhythm. Well, he goes ahead of Lucas Silva Santibanez in the women's event. It would be an amazing achievement if Cal could get himself on the podium. Oh, let's see if he can get himself into first place as he builds up some rhythm coming out around that first pair. Now he's got to get the upper body flying. Again, not the greatest work around the chicane. It was safe and steady, but he may need a bit more than that. Well, he goes into first place. But again, any times of... Brother Ronald waits in his own zone. Here goes Michel Mulder. Just ripping it around the first bend and opening up the upper body. That's better through the chicane. Now, what can Michel do on this straight as well? This could be a useful time. Well, it puts him into third place. That's drifted away a little bit. Nearly a full tenth of a second faster. which over 200 metres is quite a considerable chunk of real estate. Now Mulder, nice and low, into the bend, coming out of it. And a little bit choppy there, and it comes through, and this is where he's got to really pick it up here, Ronald Mulder. The big dive for the line moves him into second place, 17.324. He moves ahead of him. And what can he do on the road? He looked a mere mortal in training. And he did take gold in the 2015 European Championships in this event. And he should be good enough to beat Ronald Mulder's time. Whether he can get past Cow remains to be seen. He'll need 17.28 to do that, and I think he's done that pretty handily. Yes, he has. 16.9 as well. And after him, we will have the other... Silva Santibanez's brother. And then we're down to the big four qualifiers. Guzman, the little fella, with that dynamic all-out approach to his start. And just ducking low, swinging. Ooh, got that wrong. Did well to stay on his feet. But how much is that going to cost him? Let's see. Yeah. That's all it took. 17-9-1-1. He will be hoping for considerably better than that. Simon Albrecht still top of the pile, the only man under 17 seconds. Santi Banez looking to be the second man, looking to put a marker down for Chile, who won gold in the women's discipline. And he too, just gliding around that chicane, now attacking, putting in a big burst down the straight, but he didn't take the best of chicanes, did he? Silva Santi Banez. 17.035 for the powerful long striding Colombian in qualifying. Here he goes. Just getting those long legs of his going. The arms going to work as well. Upper and lower body working in sync. And here he is attacking that straight, going into the chicane. Coming out of there without any drama. Estrada. Goes into second place. Albrecht's time holds up, and I think he'll be a little disappointed. They probably will be the medalists, but as we've seen already, 
one error of judgment can change everything. Here goes the Frenchman, blasting off the blocks. Bronze medalist on the track in the time trial. The Frenchman looking to add to that with a medal in the road time trial. Getting good applause down the track. He too can't overhaul Olbrecht. He does dip inside. A straight shootout between Jorge Luis Martinez to come. And this man here, Joseba Fernandez, the Spaniard who has dominated European skating at this distance for some time. The rangy Spaniard, those short sh chopping strides around the bend, then opening it up. Got to get the chicane right. Now, can he come out of that and burst? Can he find an extra explosion of speed? He goes into first place by the narrowest of margins. One His skate to the level of his ability, and the gold medal will be his. Let's see. How does he cope with the pressure? Martinez underway, gritting the teeth, a grimace of determination as he blasts his way into that first bend. Coming out of that, now he'll open up the upper body. This is where he's got to pick up vital hundreds of seconds in and out of the chicane. That looks solid as well. Martinez driving for the line. Can he beat that time? No, he doesn't. He misses out altogether. Oh, look. Look. Fernandez, here's confirmation. Fernandez. 16.897, a gold winning time. Simon Albrecht, a big improvement. Wendal Lopiver holding on. Jorge Luis Martinez of Mexico will be so disappointed. He would have expected to medal. He would have been expecting a gold medal.